Hi there girls and welcome back to your tropical fish um, artwork um, tutorial. Today we are going to do the patterns within the fish. I must say I was absolutely delighted with your fish drawings that you um, presented to me because I can see that you understand how the grid works which is wonderful. So we're going to do these patterns exactly on the same principle as what we did the outline of the fish. And again, don't, don't think of it as drawing patterns in a fish, but just drawing shapes within each rectangular grid, um, grid shape or format. Right, so let us start here. So here we see that line makes a kind of a nice triangular shape in D2. If you want to measure it, you're welcome to. We know that it starts here where that line, the, the vertical line of the grid is, and then it moves across in like the direction of, let's say, four o'clock four o'clock and then it curves slightly there and then if you want to measure with your pencil like that you can do that and remember the mark is there or if you want to use your ruler you're welcome to the ruler oh, excuse me let's just see the ruler measures about one and a half one and a half more or less that's right and then we draw our line Okay, always looking, always looking at the shape, right, there we go, and it curves slightly, right, and now we're going to move from, from that, um, from that horizontal line, we're going to see it curves there, goes down, 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 curves again, and it meets there on that horizontal line about half a centimeter more or less so you can see it goes like if you had to think of a clock it goes towards seven o'clock like for a centimeter more or less i hope you can see fine great and then it goes down at a slight angle not quite vertically straight but at a slight angle it goes down like that for more or less about two one and a half centimeters and then it curves and it touches that mark that we made right and then there it tucks in and touches that line there and it meets with the line and the fish um, drawing the outline of the fish drawing excellent and then we just do exactly the same line to create that pattern as I draw this line, I always look at that shape in there. I'm focusing on that width. So I'm not actually looking at my line itself. I'm looking at this space so that I can get it exactly parallel to the other line. Okay, so it's more or less to get that width. There we go. Excellent. Just one moment, please, girls. Right, girls. So we've drawn that first shape or pattern. Now let's move to here where this in 1E, we're going to draw that shape there. Just a nice little curve with that, with that kind of triangular shape piece. We start there and we touch the line in the corner. Very easy. Make a slight curve. There we go. Whoops, a slight curve. Yes. Great. And then it meets up with that line there. And then on the top, we also look, that's about half a centimeter plus minus. We go all the way, we meet the vertical line there. Also about half a centimeter. And so it's a half a centimeter from just over half a centimeter there to there and then we also make a nice curved line 
nice and curved. Again, I'm not even thinking of drawing lips, I'm drawing shapes and there the lips pop out. Excellent! So now let's move on to this shape here. So we see here by two and three, two and three, that vertical line in D. In D we see that little, that's about halfway, that line there, that's about halfway, that, that um, vertical line, so halfway there, right, can you see? And then we get that little kind of little half moon shape, hey, elongated like that, right. And then from there to there, oh, where it touches there, we get another moon shape. How far down is it? Oh, I can see with my eyes, or if you want to measure, you're welcome to. It is, let me see here. Oh, it's just over, it's about, just over half a centimeter. Like 75 millimeters, about there. I can just make the mark, and I carry on with that curve. I carry on with that curve and it touches there by that pattern. Right. And now it goes up a bit, it goes up a bit, and then look at that angle. It goes up and it kind of goes towards one o'clock here, towards one o'clock more or less, and then it curves and it meets up with that other line there on the vertical line. Okay, so there we've got our nice round shape. Great. And then again, I look at that width all the time now as I draw the circle within. It's about half a centimeter parallel to the other line. There we go. There we go. Underneath as well, that there. It's under that that horizontal line and around and around but you can probably all do this by now I'm sure and then we look at that width again there we go there we go go excellent and then we do that little highlight inside great and there out pops the eye. Wonderful. So now again there's easy things like that. See that tiny little triangular shape there, that tiny one? And then that line's parallel to it. Where does it curve to? It curves to up there. It curves up there about half a centimeter. You make that, um, sorry, you make that curved shape, that curved shape to there more or less, and that line is parallel. Great, so you always just have to do one of the lines and then you draw the other parallel line too. And then where does that go to? It goes to about next to the eye, look at that distance, it goes to about there, then it curves up on the clock, that's about half past one, and then it curves in and touches that horizontal line. Oh, by now I can just judge with my eyes or if you want to measure. It's one centimeter, one centimeter. Great. So now it's important to always look. So where would I know where it curves up? You can draw a line there and you see it's just under half of that line from there to there on the grid. That's half, and it's just under half. So that's half, so it's just under half. You can draw a little soft line, and you know there it has to curve in towards, and then it curves towards half past one-ish, and then it goes up there. Okay, so there we go. So let's draw that there, and then it curves in up to half past one-ish. And then it goes up, 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 makes another curve, and it almost touches there, right? Look how it goes up, curves towards 11, then goes to 10, and then back to 11. So again, if you want to know where exactly, oh, can you see, 
where exactly it curves. You can always draw a line there. And then you can see, oh, it's in the middle of that line. Right. So it's in the middle of that line. There. Okay, so it, we've got the outer line. It goes up and it touches the outer line. It's up and it touches. There we go. And then there, 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 there. We do the parallel line as well. Always looking at that width. And we go up, up, up. And then we have a little triangle there. Great. So we've got our next shape finished. Right, girls. These shapes are fairly easy, but I will go through them with you. What is a bit tricky are the fins, but let's carry on step by step. Okay, so this one here, you can see there is a little triangle. Always look for, for little clues like that. There is a little triangle. See that little triangular shape there? So you're going to get that there, that little triangular shape. Okay, and then that line curves, goes around, and look at that distance there. That's about more or less two and a half from this line, two and a half. If you want to measure or just see with your eye, that's fine. And then you see that line, it goes around and it curves a bit, and then at a slight angle, it touches there on the horizontal gridded line. So it goes round and then at a slight curve, slight diagonal, it goes there around. There we go. And then here it goes out, 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 out. And then where on the line does it touch there? On that side. Let's see. It touches one and a half, one and a half. Excellent. How far up to where do we draw that line? So we can draw a straight line there. Yeah, to about one and a half. Hey, we can just take that line up slightly with our pencil. And we will obviously erase all of that. And then we know that's where we need to curve. Okay, so then we look all the time. That's towards four o'clock. There, 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 and then we curve there, and then we touch there, and then there we create a triangular shape again. We look at that distance. It's about there, more or less. Create an angle. There we go. Touch there, and then it curves down. And we've also still got to do that side. So we don't, where do we know where it stops here? So we look, we measure that distance, right? That distance is about one and a half, about one and a half on the outline of the fish, and it makes a slight curve. There we go. And then there, where do we stop there? We measure that distance too. That is one centimeter. One centimeter from the vertical line to the outline of the fish. Where do they meet? There. Excellent. And then it curves in. Then it curves in. Great. And now we just draw that other line parallel to the, our first initial line that we drew. All the way. There we go. Always looking at that space this space as you draw that space. Great girls. So now let's do the one next to it. There, that shape. So again we have a this tiny little triangle. Let's take the inner one, the inner line. We have a tiny little triangle. Tiny little triangle there. Right. And then it goes up, up, up towards one o'clock and like almost I could say a centimeter from that horizontal line it stops so about a centimeter it would stop oh. if we now see that the outer line actually touches the fin 
Okay, and then the inner line curves with the fin and it touches that fin. So if you look carefully, it curves and it touches that fin. It curves with that line and it touches the fin. Great. So now we just, that's the inner line. It goes like that, more or less. And then the outer line of the pattern, there, it meets up and it goes around. Great. There we have that. Okay. So now we're going to do that one. By now, you should know easily how to do this. Let's always jump to easy little bits. D3. Where's D3? Is there. Make a little cross. Little cross. D3. Great. So we're going to do that tiny little tiny little shape there and then you see it goes down 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 around look at that distance there very important that's about half a centimeter and then it doesn't quite touch by the line but almost there hey just there so we can see it makes that curve so it makes that curve there right that curve excellent so now, from there to there, that, if we had to measure, you can either measure that distance or that distance. Okay, so if you measure from that line, it's three and a half. We measure on that side, it's about almost like just under one and a half. So let's see, three and a half, there we go. And that distance there, from there to there, now you measure from the horizontal line up. That's just under one centimeter. Oh, more or less, just under, like nine millimeters or so. Great. So now we're going to, chops, draw that curve, almost like a bit of a sun coming up from the horizon of the sea. Hey, that kind of little semi-circular circular shape. There we go. And then it goes down towards five o'clock for one centimeter more or less. And then it goes down, down, down towards half past six for the rest. Hey, and where does it touch here? It touches the fin. You can measure that distance, which is also oh, about a centimeter, hey, more or less. A centimeter there we go so it goes towards what did I say five o'clock four centimeter and then on the clock if you have to see it's like half past six 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 half past six o'clock like there excellent okay now we do the outline also parallel very easy always look at the width as you're drawing it focusing on that in a shape, oh sorry, there we go, focusing on that inner shape, the width of that inner shape all the time, the excellent, great, so that's more or less, that's fine, marvellous girls, wonderful, I'm seeing my inner line is actually one and a half one and a half so that could be a little bit more but that's ah oh, it's not too serious that width there is a bit wider than what i've got but it's just a few millimeters out so that's fine great girls so let's move on to here that one is very easy that little triangular shape in d5 d5 right so let's get D5. D5 is here. So we've got, just put it up like that. Great. So we've got that little shape there. Those corners are always easy ones to start off with. If you want to see another little corner there, you can also draw that one in. It's also easy. Then you've got that little corner that little corner great now we can 
See, where does that go to? Woo, 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 it curves, it curves, it curves, it curves, and it touches there. Okay, so what is that width about? That width, more or less one and a half, more or less one and a half, and now we just, oopsie, it has to meet with that line there, that shape about right. Great. And now we need to do that little shape. You can just actually look at the shape. Look, look exactly, at, just draw that shape. So it looks exactly like that. Or you could, of course, measure it too. But also just by looking, you can get it right. Because it's quite an easy shape to draw. Okay, now we want to see. Okay, now that goes to there. So where on the clock would that be? For about one centimetre. Ah, it's about half past ten, hey. Okay, there, and then it goes up, right. And where does it touch there? Let's see, two centimetres. Two centimetres. It goes up, and there we go. It goes up, and that's not quite straight. It's a slight curve, hey. It's a slight curve like that. Right, and then it that last little bit, also at a slight angle, just after 12 o'clock, quarter past 12. Right, so we've got that shape, and now we just outline it. Again, always looking at the width. As I draw, I'm looking at the width inside. There we go. There we go. Great. Okay, again, that one looks slightly fatter, but that's also fine. Okay, I should have probably taken it out more there. If one wants to be extremely fussy, sorry, one moment, I'm just getting oopsie daisy my eraser without having to switch off the little video camera. Okay, if you want to be extremely fussy, you see you can take it out a bit more. So it's just looking, it bulges out a bit more there. Hey. But that is fine because I can see if you understand the grid. But one can, I can immediately see because you know if it is the exactly the same or not. And that one also bulges out more like that. Okay, but I'll be very happy for you to just draw it like this. But the eye does get exercised and it does see, you know, immediately the difference. You can look at that, that negative shape there. Just, it's a few millimeters, but it's fine. I'm fine with that, girls. Excellent. So let's move on. Let's do this one here. That is E5. Okay, E5, this little block here. So let's see what's happening here. Okay, so this one is quite easy because it comes straight from the corner here and it makes a slight curve and then goes round. And where does it touch the line there? It touches at just like over one and a half, just over one and a half more or less there. Great. So we're going to look, look, look at that curve. If you want to know where it curves, you can measure there or you can just see with your eye more or less there. So it's going to go up a bit towards half past 11 and then it's going to start curving in. Right. There we go. Can you see? Yes. Up and it curves in. I hope I'm not casting a shadow on this drawing. Right, girls, so we've got that. And then it goes on top there, that tiny little sunrise on the horizon there. Or about one centimeter width, right? And then it comes down, down, down towards half past seven and then it's 
If you look at that width, you can see with your eye, it's about there, you can make your mark. And then you visualize going towards half past seven on the clock. If the hand is on half past seven, it goes towards there. And then it curves in, and that's about half a centimeter. There we go. So by now you should more or less also be able to measure with your eye as opposed to with the ruler. You can see that width there. How far is it? Oh, but that's, that's easy because that touches the fin, right? And then you have that slight angle, which is like half past five. Hey, slight angle, half past five, quarter to six. Great. And now, again, we just do the line inside, parallel. There we go. There we go. And this side too. Excellent. There we go. Marvelous. So we've got our one, two, three, four, five, six spots done. Great. So now we're going to do this stripe here. And then the fins. So let's see. Where is this? That is in D6. D6. We've got that shape there. D6 here. Okay, so where, oh, where that fin ends, where that line starts, and then it goes to that horizontal line there. What is the width there? That is one and a half centimeters, one and a half centimeters. Okay, so we make, do that curve, do that curve. There we go. And then we, it curves all the way to where does it stop there? Let's measure from that line to that horizontal. Two centimeters. Two centimeters. Great. And then it curves into that direction, which is like just after five o'clock. Hey, quarter past, half past five. Marvelous. And then we just do the line parallel to that the width great you got that hey yes excellent so now that one oh that's also easy that tiny little shape there and look at that shape there so that shape there and then we've got our line there and then where does it go to that width and it curves so nicely that width is like one centimeter one centimeter. Great. And then it curves. Wonderful. And now we do again the parallel line. Okay, you can see, I hope, yes. I'm recording all of this with my little cell phone. There we go. Whoops. Excellent. So now, I think let's start at the top fin here. Right. So that's quite easy. We've got this first little kind of finger shape there. So we just carry on with that line there. We just bring it down towards 7 o'clock. Excellent. And then that one we bring down. Oh, and there, that's that's a clue. That tiny little triangular shape there. Can you see? So that would meet up with that one. Great. Okay. And then here where that next, like, where the next bump is, we carry on with that line. Okay. And where would that be? So we measure there from that vertical line. That is one and a half. From this vertical line, one and a half there. So, let me just do it like that. There we go. So, we know from that little bump, we go down from that bump to, and it meets up there, one and a half. Great. Excellent. And now we just see, okay, we've got that one now, that kind of in the middle. Now, here we've got another nice shape we can look at there. Can you see that shape? 
and then it just goes down and meets on that line there. Goes down. If you want to measure, that would be about one centimeter here. Goes down like that. There we go. The next one is also in the middle. Look, look at those lovely shapes you've got there. You need it there. And then that distance is about there. And then you know it would meet up. Right. This is wonderful spatial thinking. So good to use the right side of the brain. It actually helps in so many other areas of your life for problem solving. Okay, so you see that little triangular shape goes all the way down to there. That width, that width is about one centimeter. Okay, and then it meets up. Look, it's got a slight curve. Slight curve. Great. Now we're going to put those little patterns in. So you can see, you can already measure. It's about there. Right, then you would do that little one. Then from there, it would go up, up, up. Here you've got the tiny little, tiny little triangle, triangular shape. That little line, it's just, just there. Can you see? There's a little triangle for your next one. Okay, so you know it would go all the way towards one o'clock and then choops, all the way towards one o'clock and choops. It would jump to there. And then the next one would jump to, you can measure that distance. That is one centimeter. That is one centimeter. And then you know it would jump to there. Look at the angle, look at the shape. Hey, it's curved. Okay, then you can measure the next one if you want to. It's one and a half. It's one and a half there. And you see it goes zoops like that. And then the next one too. It's almost straight with that one. So it would also go zoops. And that one too. Zoops. And that one is just under. You see there's a tiny bit there. Tiny bit there. It doesn't quite touch the line. And it goes there. So these are almost kind of straight. Yes. Let me see. If I have to see, you see that width and that width is the same. So they're almost kind of straight in a line. Almost straight in a line. Right, girls. So now we just do again the parallel patterning. Great. So there we go. Marvelous. You can, of course, always measure exactly if you want to measure there to there and there to there, there to there. Okay, by now you are, I know you're such clever girls, you know how to do all of that. Oh, wonderful. So let's move on to here. Look at that lovely triangular. You can see with your eye. It's there. Right. Then the next one, there's a tiny one underneath. You see where I went wrong here? That actually is flush up until there. See? This pattern, it's there. It's right up to there. And then it goes down. That's why this one is a bit fatter. It's meant to be a bit fatter. That's better. Okay, so you've got that tiny little shape there which will be there. So you can just look at those little clues. Great. And then it goes, that line goes up, 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 and it touches the line there. Right. So it goes up and it curves. It goes up. See, it makes a slight curve. A very E. There we go. Slight curve. It's not straight. Slight. A very skinny S. Very skinny. Okay, and then here, the next one, you've got that is a clue. There. See that shape? See that? Can you see? See that triangular shape? There would be that triangular shape. See that triangular shape? See that triangular shape? And then it curves in. You can measure that distance if you want. Just be about one centimeter. You can see that with your eye by now, so you don't really need to measure anymore. Okay, 
and you can make it a slight curve. So these are the things, the corners of the grid you can always look at. Hey, there's diagonals. Right, I'll have to erase it because we're doing the patterns afterwards, but just to show you. Okay, so here would be the last tiny little one. And where does it go? It curves, curves, curves. And look at this nice little triangular shape. Can you see there? So I put it in there. Okay, and then where? Oh, by now you can see it's about there. Hey. Or you can see that triangular big shape there. That would be there. Right. Right. So you curve. You curve it slightly, ever so slightly. It's not straight. It's an organic shape it's not geometric and stiff it's a living organic shape tropical fish right great so now the next line see here if you had to carry that forth there would be a tiny triangle there so you know it's there or you can measure on the line it's about one and a half Excuse me, girls. Yes, or just over one and a half. There we go. Marvelous. And then look at that width. It's about a centimeter, so you know. You, and look at that lovely, lovely curve here. It's a lovely, almost like a wave there. And then you see it goes to there. Look at that distance. That distance goes to there. And then you get that little triangular shape. And that little, can you see? That little triangular shape there. Great. Then that line touches there. Where does it go? It curves nicely. And there's a tiny little, tiny little triangle just to guide you. And look how it also curves out. Right, there we go. I see in class, some girls, they just take the ruler and draw lines. No, no, no. It's the same principle as drawing the outline of the fish. You use the grid to guide you to see the distance and the shapes and how the one line relates to the other one, the width in between, etc. Okay, so anything you draw, it doesn't matter what. You look at the shapes, the distance, and the angle. And then automatically your image will pop out. And like I said, you use the grid just initially as a tool to help you to look. And eventually when your eye is so practiced, you can see the distances, the angles, the measurements. You can actually use, use your pencil and see, oh, that one is that long. Then that one would be that long and a bit more. Anyway, that, that I don't want to get too complicated now, but you would use all different kind of methods of looking with your eye one being a basic unit which could be your the the shape the, the length of your of your the eye of your fish and then that would be your basic unit and then you want to see how wide that is then you would say ah that's one eye and half so you know that length is one and a half eyes okay and that space in between, that could be your basic unit. Oh, you see, from that line to that line is the same length as that I. So I'm talking in a very advanced drawing language to you girls because I know you, you are very good at drawing. And that's how one would work without the grid eventually, your next step. But for now, we're using the grid. Great. So you've got that that line there so let's go to the next one that little triangular shape there marvelous that's easy then you go on to there um sorry okay and then look at that length there you want to know that length you can measure it and here you can actually use your fish or if you want to draw the line to your grid you would draw the line to your grid it's just over one and a half just over one and a half, then you see it's there. Okay, you draw the line. See my battery is going a little bit flat, so let's just see how far we get before I have to recharge. Okay, and then we go up there. Go up there. Great. And then the last little one we've got there. 
if you've got it there, that little shape, and then it goes down to about a centimeter, about a centimeter. Okay, I see this one needs to be a bit more curved and rounded. Immediately the eye can see. Great. Marvelous. There it goes. There we go. And now, just one moment, please. Right, girls. So now we are going to do these little circular um, shapes here. So let us see. Right, so if we see here, that is about a half a centimeter from that horizontal line, about half a centimeter, right? And now let's jump down to the next parallel line. The next one would be there. Okay, so we are going to now do a different type of a little um, technique. So we're going to draw that triangular shape. There, oh, there we go. That's there, so we know. Then that little circular shape at an angle. Look, that goes towards seven. Right. And it touches where that line, it meets up with that diagonal line. And then it carries on. See, at a slight angle towards quarter to nine for about half a centimeter. And then it curves up at that angle there. Excellent. And now we just outline it. There we go. Great. So let's do the next one. Okay, again, we're going to jump to the inner parallel line because that's easy. So that one touches there. So let's jump to the inner one. And we see that tiny little shape there. Tiny little semicircle. Easy to do. Great. And it goes down for about, downish, at a slight angle towards quarter to six for half a centimeter. Then it curves up. You can see that width there if you want to measure it. You're welcome to, but by now we can see it's just over a centimeter. Not quite a centimeter and a half, a centimeter and a quarter, hmm. about there. And then it goes towards one o'clock. It curves, goes towards one o'clock, and joops, it meets up there again. With where we started off. And now we, we can do the parallel line on the outside. There we go. Right. That's also about half a centimeter in width. Excellent, girls. So now, ha, ah, this is very easy. That touches there. Look at that little triangular shape. See, it becomes fun. You look at these little patterns and then it goes touches there and it goes down it touches there again and then look at that little triangular shape we're going to jump now here there's that triangular shape right and then it meets up with that one so it becomes fun to do okay then we're going there we're going to go down see to about there same just on that side of the diagonal, about just over half a centimeter, we're stopping and we're curving in. Okay, we're curving in, make a little hump, there we go. Because the one that's parallel will be on that cross. Correct. Great, so we can actually make them meet up now. Let's do that. Shoop, 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 shoop. Look at the whole time at that inner space as you're making, drawing that line, that width. There we go. It's got a slight curve, right? Nice slight curve. Right, and now here there's another other little semicircle. If you want to see that little shape there, it's there, right? Can you see? There and it meets up with that sep, and then you create that semicircle. And then you've got that triangular shape, that triangular shape. It curves up. Look at that width, it's about a centimeter, 
and it makes a curve, right? And then it goes there towards nine o'clock. Okay, and now we just draw the parallel line, looking at the inner space to get the right width. So there we go. Marvelous. Oh, and then we've got one last circular shape down here. Great. So there's a little fun triangular, triangular shape there. Then there's a fun triangular shape there. Can you see? The next one is there. So we can make them meet up. Great. And then there's another fun triangular shape there. So there we go. And we've got our next circular shape. Marvelous. So let's move on to... Okay, let's go around. Let's do the tail now. Right. Right, so... What do we have in the same block, D7, where we've got this line, we are now going to also draw that line. Right, so how, you, how can you do this? You can just draw up, make a line, and see what width that is there, and we can measure it. That width is 2 centimeters, 2 centimeters. Make your mark and just drop it down to the to the line of where the fish drawing is. And then we see it curves and it goes into the corner there where the horizontal and vertical lines meet. Right. So it curves. It makes a nice, lazy, curvy shape. There we go. Nice and curvy, like that. Excellent. And then it goes to there, that curve. If you want to drop, draw, drop that, draw a line to see how far it is from that vertical line. It's about one centimeter. One centimeter. There we go. And we know it must stop there. And then there's the other curved line. Okay, great. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, and now we do the outline too. There we go, like that, and like that. Great. So now, let's do our lines here. So we've got that line there. One, two, three. And then that little one, and then one, two, three. Okay, so let's, let me just eat. Erase. What did I do with my eraser? Where is it? Just one moment, I'll go get it. Right. Let me just erase some of these lines here. You can see clearly. How are we going to go about this? Okay. So, we look at that little distance there. Ah, we can see now more or less. It's just over half a centimeter and it curves up like that there we've got a tiny little triangle tiny little triangle see that's easy that tiny little triangle there and then we know from that distance which is just over half a centimeter it curves up to meet with that tiny triangle right and then it curves right it makes a nice little hill shape and that's also just over half a centimeter from that line you can make the mark and it goes up to the right there we go now the next one where does it start so you can do any which method you can measure like that that's one centimeter or you can measure from the gridded line that's one and a half so either one centimeter or one and a half and you know that's where your next line will be okay so it curves in a bit you can also measure that length if you want or you can just see with your eye it's about there right and then you draw your line and then it curves and where does it stop it stops just there where that shape dents in up there more or less right and then we look it curves, 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 and it goes down a bit, and it's just underneath that little curve, that dent there. 
Perfect. The next one, ah, oh, look, we've got a nice little shape there. That's easy. We've got that shape. And again, it curves. And look where, where it stops there. You can use either measure there, or you can see more or less of your eye. It stops about there. Right, can you see? Right. And then you make a nice little curve again. Goes down a bit. And look, 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 it's all about looking. And then the curve. Great. Wonderful. So the next one is easy. It starts there and it goes again. A tiny little half kind of moon or a semicircle touching there. See that little semicircle? There we go. And then that shape is also easy. That triangular shape there. Great. And then it goes, just look at that angle. It goes like that. Look at where does it end there, that width. You can look with your eye. It's about there. Or you can measure from there to there or from there to there. Okay. And then you see how it goes. It goes like that. And it ooh, curves in slightly. There we go. Great. Then you get that next one. Again, you can measure that length. Or you can look with your eye. You make your mark there. There we go. It's there. And then where does it go? To? Oh, that's easy. It goes right to where the outline touches the horizontal grid. Right. And then you look, look, look. And it curves. Right. There we go. Marvelous. The next one, you've got a lovely triangular shape there. And then also, like, look at that distance there. It's about there. And where does it go? So that's going to meet up with your triangular shape, right? And then it's going to go, and you can see on your, that shape ends about there. And then you make a curve. Excellent. There we go. Now, let's do those circular shapes inside. Right, so here, I'm just going to erase these lines again so I can see. I'm, I'm using a 6B pencil, which is quite dark so that you can see the drawing better. Okay, so what do we have here? That line starts right there, right? So, there we go. How can we figure this out? Ah, makes a little curve and touches here. Right. It curves and touches here. So that the inner parallel line will make a little curve there. Can you see? Then the next one, you have a tiny little triangular shape there on the outside. And you know, oh, it makes a little bump. See, it goes out, it makes a little bump, chips, chips. There we go. See this tiny little triangular shape? You can see that must be there. Then you see that line, it's slightly underneath. For how far you can measure, it goes up to two and a half centimeters. Always measure from the vertical line, two and a half to about there. So there's a slight little shape underneath, slight little shape underneath and then up, and then it curves. Where does it go in there? We can measure that distance or that distance. Let's see, we'll measure here at two, two and a half centimeters, two and a half centimeters. Oh, excellent. Yes, it's exactly the same. Right, but it goes out a bit. It makes a little curve there and then it goes in. And how far is it from there? Ah, oh, you can see it's about one centimeter. Right. So you see it makes a little bump there. It makes a little bump and it goes in. Then it curves in. It curves in. And it goes over the top. You see, if you have to see the inner line, you'll get that tiny little shape. And that's your outer line. Right, so the inner line will have that tiny shape, and that's your outer line goes over that line of the fin. Right, goes like that, over the line of the fin, and your inner one has that tiny little shape, and then that will guide you. 
and then you can just draw your parallel line. Okay, girls, I'm doing a slightly more advanced technique because I know by now we're probably ready for it. Great. There we go. Okay, so this shape here, immediately I see this lovely triangular shape there, which covers that first line and where it meets up. So that's the first line and that's the second line. One, two, and then we have that shape What's that distance there? It's about just, this is now that little semicircular shape there. Right, you see that? And then from there to there, it's just under a centimeter, about 75 mils. And then you go to your, that second line, one, two. There we go, can you see? Great. Then we go to the next, the next one, there's your one line, okay, so now we're going to touch, look at that next triangular shape, it touches the horizontal, okay, and then you, you get that kind of, there, from half a centimeter from that vertical line, it goes like that, right, and then it curves, and goes underneath, it curves there, and goes slightly underneath that vertical line, I mean, sorry, that horizontal one, are you with me? So you get that triangular shape, it touches and it curves underneath, touches and it curves underneath, okay, great, so now it goes towards there, it touches that line, so you've got that lovely triangular shape there. Can you see? There you've got that shape. Okay. And then it curves in and touches that line. What is that distance? You can put it there and you see it curves in a bit. Great. And then it makes a curve like that. It curves in like that. And then it curves in like that. Marvelous. Look at that negative shape. Negative space is exactly the same. Great, girls. So your circular shape would be your positive shape you're drawing, and anything behind or inside is the negative shape. And now we just do the parallel line inside, looking all the time at the width. Great. Marvelous, girls. See? It is not so difficult. It's always little tricks of the trade. Right, so now we're doing the, this little fin here. Excellent. So let's see what we've got here. We've got one, two, three lines. So let's do the first one. So where does that one start? We've got that little shape there. Right. That little shape. And then it curves up and it almost touches it curves up and it almost touches and stops just underneath that that horizontal line right the next one see that width you can see it's about there make that mark can make that mark there and where does it end oh where that little curve comes in there we go so then we look carefully curves like that and then it curves out. Perfect. And then we see the next one. It's in the middle of that width. It's in the middle of that width. Right. And then also, it's there. Make that mark. It's just under one centimeter. And then it stops there. Also about one centimeter. Just under one centimeter. And it also has a lovely curve. Right, it also has a lovely curve. There we go. Out, down, 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 and slightly up. Curve slightly up. Right. So now we have another little triangular shape there. Great. And then it goes in and it touches the first, second line. See, it goes in there. It goes in like that and then it touches the vertical 
a grid line there and it makes another little half moon, half semicircular, um, sorry, half semicircular shape there and then it goes all the way to there. You can see there's a lovely triangular shape there. Okay, if you want to you can measure that width, oh, it's about a, also just under a centimeter. Right, so it goes all the way there and then you draw that parallel line as well. There we go. Great girls, and now we're doing the final fin. This one is a tiny bit tricky, but let's do it. Right, so you've got that line there. One, two. You've got that one, two, and then one, and then you've got that protruding. So this is actually the upper fin, and that's the one behind. Okay, so let's do this. Right, where can we start? What, what can we do? That's easy, which is an easy way to do this. Let's see, there, there. Okay, let's just see where, where these two meet here. That point there. Let's draw, let's carry on with that line there. We're going to measure the distance from there to there. That is about one centimeter, one centimeter. We're going to make a mark there. And then we're going to take the line going like that. Right. And then you'll see there's a tiny little triangular shape, which is fun. Tiny little triangular shape like that, which we can add in. And then we have that curve. If you want to measure the distance, it's about a centimeter or so. Or you can just look. It stops at about there and it curves. It almost goes straight. Almost goes straight. Right. So this is your top fin and this is your fin behind the fish on the other side. Right, so let's work on your top fin first. So, we've got that line there. It's got one, two, three lines inside. Okay, so that line, first line, let's see where does it start. It starts about there, right? You make a mark. And you see, there, it starts about there. Then it goes up. It doesn't quite touch that line and it curves like that and it goes up there we go and then it goes all the way it curves and it touches where that first bump there is okay great it goes all the way and it touches where that bump is there wonderful okay so the next one starts just about almost almost underneath it, two millimeters, just about. And then look at that width there. That width is about that wide, and it goes to there, it goes to there, and then where does it stop? Ah, where this fish, fish line, there, where it meets there. Okay, so that's quite easy. There, the, the line or the outer line of the fish, it meets up there, great. And then the next one is like half a centimeter or in the middle of that width. And also look at that distance. It's also about just over half a centimeter. It curves and it goes all the way down and meets up with that triangular shape. Wonderful. Great. And now the one behind, that's quite easy. You just need to put that little line in. And where does it go to from there to there? It goes to where these two connect there. So there's your one behind. Great girls, we're almost done. So let's do these little curves here. See that little one? You see that lovely little triangular shape there? So that you go in and curve. Okay, you can always look, look, look. You go in and you curve like that. Great. So if you want to measure that distance, just to be on the safe side, that's like one centimeter and a quarter, one and a quarter, just over one. Then you do the little curve and up, and there we go. Down and up, and there we go. Look at that width there, right? 
and then again down and up. Look at there's a lovely triangular shape you can work with. There, you must have that shape, and it goes down, it goes up and down. There we go, great, and then goes down. And there's another little shape you can work with there. So that has to meet up. There we go. Great. So now we just draw our parallel line. Same width. Excellent. We're almost there. Yay. So now we've got that little lovely shape there. Where are we here? That little lovely shape. Now we're going to go zoops, all the way to there. We want to know where we need to stop there, so let's measure. That is just under two centimeters, about there, right? Or we can look at that there, that length, or we can measure from here to there. That is just under one and a half, just under one and a half. Yes, that's correct. So we go from there and we shoop, we slide down, nice circular movement there, and then we go shoop, 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 and there, the bottom parallel line will touch there, so we've got to be just up there, and there we go, we glide down, make a nice little curve, look, 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 and then go towards quarter to nine. Sorry. Right, girls, sorry about that. So here we were. We were doing this final little glide, almost final, and that's like towards quarter to nine. Great. So then we just draw the parallel line, always looking at the space inside. One, two, three. Great. And there we go. Wonderful. Great, girls. I really enjoy teaching you. Once you've done your um, patterning within the fish, please send me a photograph and then next time we'll do the background. Great. Thank you girls and goodbye.